Welcome to the Cleveland Browns High School Game of the Week presented by PNC Bank and in association with Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Tonight we're coming to you from Strongsville for the Division 5 State Final Four between Canton Central Catholic and Milan Edison. Tonight I'm joined by some cheerleaders from the Crusaders, Andrea Janella and Molly Fisher. Girls, tell me a little bit about what the excitement's like going back to your third straight finals. It's crazy. We're really proud of our boys and we're so excited to cheer at the shoe again. It's an awesome experience to have three years in a row and we're hoping third time's a charm. Um, it's just so exciting and like our first year when we started cheering, like we would have never expected our second year to come to States and just going again. It's amazing. Both teams came firing out of the gates after a 33-yard touchdown run from the Chargers' Sam Stroll and a 79-yard strike from the Crusaders' Jack Murphy. The defenses both settled in and only allowed three additional points when the Crusaders' Dan Mills splits the uprights, extending the lead 10-7. After a fast start, both defenses settled in, setting us to have 10-7, Cantrell Central Catholic with the lead. Crusaders extended their lead in the third quarter with a one-yard Brady Thompson run making it 17-7 Crusaders. Three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter, the Division V state runner-ups quarterback Jack Murphy breaks through some Chargers tacklers and scampers 43 yards for a touchdown and a 24-7 lead. On the ensuing drive, senior quarterback Brandon Earhart carves through the defense setting himself up for a one-yard quarterback keeper and the Chargers touchdown, cutting the lead to two scores. In the end, Canton Central Catholic was too much for Edison to handle. They will advance to the state finals next weekend in Columbus. That low physical offensive line they have is hard to simulate. It's hard to get sophomores to do that throughout the course of the week on your scout team. But our kids knew what was coming. It just, it just, it, it, it took a little bit. I thought we'd made some better, um, Angle moves, I thought um, Coach Grise, our defensive coordinator, called some really nice, um, some blitzes and some stunts at perfect time to get them on minus yardage. And that's that hurts them a little bit, you know, they're not used to that. It's kind of like a wing tee offense. You get them in minus, you know, second and longs, third and longs, you know, uh, that's an advantage to the defense. Talk a little bit about your defense and what they're able to do, only giving up 14 points tonight. Oh, they're phenomenal. They, they've shut teams down all year, and we knew this was a high-powered offense, and they came out and they played. The atmosphere is amazing. We've got great, great support from our fans. Great team, great coaches. And predictions next week? Win. I think we expect them to come down there and uh, get the job done. We lost last two years, and uh, I think we want to win this year, of course. Thank you for tuning in to another great season of Cleveland Browns High School Game of the Week. Be sure to check out clevelandbrowns.com community to check out all of our youth and high school football programs throughout the year. For Andrea and Molly, I'm John LaForce, and we'll see you guys next season.